What's up, y'all? It's Julian Gordon from the Multifamily Movement, aka Mr. Multifamily, and I'm standing in front of a vacant lot that I bought here in Baton Rouge for a little over six thousand uh, dollars through an auction. And I want to really talk to you about knowing your exit strategy before you do any development. You have to know your exit. There's many ways to enter into a deal, okay? But you also have to know your exit strategies. And so um, we have many options for this lot. This is 120 by 30. All right. We have to have five feet on both sides, uh, 20 feet on the front, and um, and 25 feet on the back so uh that um takes it down to a 20 by i think uh 85 20 by 85 development right and of course we could go up to do two stories if we want to to double that but you got to know what your exit is in advance so there's many different things we can do we can do a single family just like this one right and that's going to attract a typical a certain type of buyer to come back to this neighborhood we could do a duplex that is split um 10 feet on both sides and do a two one two one or we could do a three two one one Okay. Now, if we do a two one two one and it's, it's split down the middle, typical shotgun house uh, that you see down here in these parts, um, that's going to probably be a rental that we keep. And we look at the cash on cash return on that. And we say, um, is that the best strategy? Or if we're going to look at it as a single family, we say, how much is it going to be to build per square foot? It's about $100 per square foot to build. And what are the comps uh, for single families out here? That about uh, $140 per square foot, right? So we could look at that as an option. But what we're going to do, given that we're trying to develop this community and bring people back here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a duplex, but it's going to be a 3211. Okay? It's going to be a 3211. Why? Because the 32 can be the equivalent of a single family home, but then if we add a 11 on the back end with the side entrance, now that back unit is going to cover at least 75% of the mortgage. And so if we're trying to entice somebody to come buy back in uh, the Eddie Robinson Senior Historic District, rather than just choosing between us and single families in other neighborhoods, they now are saying, look, this is a deal because I'm going to get the equivalent of my single family home and the mortgage paid by this additional unit that's in the back. So this is why it's really important to know what your exit strategy is in advance, because now we get to design this space with that end buyer in mind or the end use if you're going to hold it. So this is really key, knowing your exit in advance, because that shapes what you actually do with the development. All right. So if you want to learn how to do this, go to multifamilymasterplan.com, multifamilymasterplan.com. I'll show you how to finance, find, and finalize multi-family real estate deals just like this one and uh, i'm excited about uh, this i'm gonna take you on the journey uh, and i hope you will so again go to multifamilymasterplan.com i do a webinar there periodically but i'll show you the game all right much love y'all peace